Hi guys, what's up? Today we're talking about what is probably the most popular keyboard on earth, the Logitech K380. There's a good chance that someone you know already owns this keyboard and for good reason. There's so many cool features and design aspects jam-packed into this compact keyboard. Having said that, this keyboard was first released in 2015. Almost 6 years later, is this still the best option if you're on the lookout for a wireless keyboard? Let's find out. First off, this keyboard retails for about 40 US dollars and comes in a bunch of different colors. There's also the option to get the matching pebble mouse with the keyboard. This is great if you like to have a matching theme with all your tech accessories. Operation-wise, it is very simple. The keyboard has a minimalist sleek look with only the on-off button at the side. You can pair up to three devices with this Bluetooth keyboard and you can seamlessly switch between the three devices. I use this keyboard together with the Logitech MX vertical mouse and have both devices paired to my work and personal laptop. My work laptop has Windows operating system while my personal laptop is a MacBook Air but I'm able to switch between the two operating systems seamlessly since the keyboard has different layouts that are automatically detected based on whichever operating system you are connected to. Next, talking about the battery life, I have absolutely no complaints. Two AAA batteries are included with your purchase of the keyboard. I've been using this as my main keyboard for close to 2 years now and have yet to change the battery. I do switch off at the end of the day to conserve some battery but there are occasional days where I forget to do that and the keyboard is switched on all day, still the battery is going strong. I think one of the main reasons why the battery life is so good for this keyboard is due to the lack of backlighting. So if backlighting is something that's very important to you, this is just something to take note of. Next, talking about size and portability, this keyboard is designed to be compact and well suited for everyday use, especially for people on the go. Whether you're working from home or you're shuttling between different work locations, this keyboard is so easy to travel with. I bought a faux leather case and have been using it when I'm traveling with the keyboard. And over the past two years, this has helped protect the keyboard and make it look relatively new. The K380 is also very light and doesn't occupy much space on the work desk. This keyboard is marketed by Logitech as a keyboard for iPad specifically, but I think it works great as a desktop keyboard as well. And that's the way that I've been using it over the past two years. Talking about typing experience, unlike traditional keyboard keys, this K380 has round keys to better fit your fingertips as you're typing. The low profile scissor keys offer a comfortable typing experience and is quiet enough to be used in an office setting. The keyboard is fitted with rubber pads on the four corners to prevent any movement as you're typing. This is just a personal preference for me, but throughout the day, I noticed that I have the keyboard in different positions and with the rubber pads, it just makes it harder to move the keyboard around. So I placed a paper on the bottom to try to fix this. This is just a hack that no one asked for. One major downside for this keyboard could be the small narrow keycaps. This keyboard is slightly smaller than your average laptop inbuilt keyboard, so the keys are placed slightly closer to one another. I personally got used to the spacing after a couple of days of using it, but some might find it hard to adapt, especially if you have larger hands. My father was on the lookout for a keyboard and really liked the design of my K380, but couldn't adapt to the narrow keys, so I recommended the Logitech 780, which is almost an exact carbon copy of the K380 and have similar keycaps, but they are slightly more spaced out, and it comes with a number pad as well. So if you really like the K380 but it's a little bit on the smaller side for you, the K780 is something that you can consider. Another minor inconvenience is that the keyboard attracts dust particles and it's quite obvious on my blue keyboard but then again this is a problem that happens with any other keyboard. I just have a paintbrush on my table to dust off the keyboard every now and then and it works perfectly fine to clean the surface. Personally, the major gripe I have with this keyboard is that the caps lock button is not backlit. This leads to the occasional typing in caps and this used to annoy me so much when I first started using the keyboard. Over time, you do get used to it but this is a feature that Logitech could very easily incorporate in maybe the K380 version too. Wrapping up, I would wholeheartedly recommend this keyboard to anyone looking for a minimalist keyboard with maximum function. Even after 6 years, there's a reason why this keyboard is still so popular. We have yet to receive another keyboard in the market that is this compact, allows for multi-device connections and has a great design. The only thing that will make this amazing keyboard even better 
is if Logitech fixes the caps lock button situation and adds the option for rechargeable batteries in K380 launch 2.0 or something. We can only hope that this will happen, so let's wait and see. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Do leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Catch you guys in another one.